Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a fall favorites video. Um, I wasn't specifically tagged by anyone but the Clam Twins had did their fall favorites and they just said whoever hasn't done it yet, go ahead and do it. So I'm doing it. So if you would like to see what my fall favorites are, thank you so much. So I don't actually remember the order. Of which I'm supposed to be doing them. So I screenshot it. My first thing is favorite candle. Um, I don't have, I have two candles. Okay, I have two candles in my house. And I rarely burn them. I burnt them a lot, like towards the middle of us living here because we've been living in our apartment for exactly a month. So, um, but they're not really like anything. My mom bought us a candle when we first moved in. And then I bought another candle for the bathroom. Something like um, water smelling. Like reminds you of like the beach or something like that. And my other one is just like a normal house candle that everybody gets. So um, we're actually still, even though we've been here for a year, we're actually still trying to make this feel like our home so we're slowly buying things and slowly getting gifts and everything so candles have just not been in it so and i do want to try a lot of candles from bath and body works and i want to be able to like candles in the house and they change your mood and it makes you feel better and i don't know it just makes the house smell good and i have a dog so that would be great so um maybe next year if I do the fall favorite tag again, I'll include some candles in it. But as of right now, I don't do the whole candle. The thing. second thing is favorite lip color. I have three favorite lip colors um, that I just recently purchased. The first one is from NYX. It's their Butter Gloss. And it is the Devil's Food Cake BLG 22. Um, it's like this dark, vampy type color. And I've really been experimenting with like dark colors because of the fall. And because I don't know what my skin tone would look right in. Um, I realized I have to use lip pencils because like the color I have on now. Um, it's from NYX also, and it was really like this bright pinkish, orangish looking thing, and I put on the NYX pencil um, in Auburn, and it toned it down to this color. So My second one is also by NYX. It's the Intense Butter Gloss, and it is in the color Black Cherry Tart. I B L G 10. This is like a it's like a more dark purple. And this is more like a light purple. So I do wear this one more a lot. Um, especially when I go out at night. But during the day, um, if I'm filming a video or I'm going out in the daytime, since I'm not gonna be going out at night anymore, this is probably be my go-to fall lippy color. And the third one I have, I actually got from my local beauty supply store. It is French Plum NFA93. And the brand is Intense Lip Polish. Super Intense Color Extra Glossy Finish Lip Paint. So, um, I'm not sure we'll, if y'all will be able to find it. Make it look online and find it. Um, I'll leave the name of everything down in the description box in case y'all want to look for it. But, um... This also is like a purplish color. It's more leaning towards like burgundy for me, I say. I actually went in the store looking for a burgundy color. So I'm trying to look for Eden by NYX. So this was the closest thing we could find. So I bought it. But I'm still going to go try to find Eden by NYX. Because such a great like brick burgundy color that I'm really the to go next for. thing on the list is your favorite drink you guys my obsession with hot chocolate is so bad to the point I bought this in spring 
this is why it's open it was a little like towards the end of spring and I was still drinking this these are the ones with the marshmallows but I'm gonna try actually buying my own marshmallow because I want to taste more of the marshmallow flavor whatever so I freaking love hot chocolate I um, I'm not a tea drinker, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do love hot chocolate. And I would drink lemon water, but for fall, this is what it is. The next thing on the list is my favorite blush. I will be, for the first time, being 21, experimenting with makeup. I've been doing lip colors, I've been doing lip pencils, I've been trying to buy like different brands and find colors that match me. Uh, I've been doing mascaras. I've learned to master the wing liner for once in my life. And that is it. I don't do concealer. I don't do powders. I don't do foundation. I don't do highlight. But for my birthday, I want to wear a full face of makeup for the first time. So I'm going to be putting on a full face. And if I like it, I will be doing makeup tutorials and they may not be as good as everybody else's but they're gonna be my makeup tutorials so I recently had an anniversary so I'll recreate that look with a full face and I recreate my birthday look and then um, probably won't do in makeup inspired videos because I'm not that really good at makeup and really figuring out people colors and my eyeshadow palettes are from e.l.f. so I don't really have that many colors to work with so I'm just gonna do based off of like my anniversary, birthdays, fall, get ready with me, night out in town and stuff like that. Nothing really serious. Just normal faces. Different colors. Yeah. Next um, thing is my favorite clothing item. My favorite fall piece of clothing is this sweater. You guys. My grandmother purchased this sweater for me about two or three years ago on my father's side. And I have been in love with it ever since. I think the first year or two I didn't really wear it. But ever since I left home and I found it, I have been obsessed with this is what I, I wear it to work. Like, I don't even wear my regular work jacket to work. I wear this because it's so comfortable. Like, when I'm cold, it keeps me warm, but not too hot. And when I'm, like, um, burning up, but I need to, like, put a fan on just to cool myself on. Instead of putting, like, a jacket on to try to balance the, like, temperature out, I can always put this always balances my temperature. It can be hot outside and I can have on a beater and then it get cool that night. I just throw this right over top of it. Or if I'm about to just run out the house to go get something to eat, I throw on my flats, some shorts, a beater, and I'll grab my sweater. I know that makes no sense with shorts and a sweater, but it's my sweater and this is how I want to wear it. <laughs> but yes, I really, really love this sweater. The next thing is fall movies. My favorite movie would be Twitches. I have been watching Tia and Tamara since Sister Sister. Like, that is my ultimate favorite show. I watched The Real to watch Tamara. I watched Tia's cooking family type show. Like, I love them. Like, they're the greatest twins. I used to love Mary Kate and Ashley. Well, that's a different story. Yeah. So. Yeah, but those are my two favorite movies. And I love the Halloween Town. I like one and two, not so much three. I'm not really big into, like, scary movies. And they're, like, the perfect balance in between. Like, don't get me wrong, I do watch some scary movies. Like, I've watched Freddy vs. Jason, Jason's, Freddy's, Chucky, uh, Jeepers Creepers. And I still have Nightmares, but I don't know, for some reason I'm really into those. But I don't watch anything outside of those and people say those aren't scary I'm like maybe that's the reason why I watch them okay the okay. next thing is favorite fall TV shows my favorite fall TV show as of right now I am watching Empire Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder 
Empire isn't as good as it was last season, but I'm still very interested in. But it seems like since Lucius got out of jail, it's just been just more. So uh, it's giving me life right now. Let's see how this week goes. Um, Scandal, I'm still interested in. I, I mean, I can see like it's not as great as it was when they first started out, but it still catches my t attention. Like, I still never lose interest. Like, some people say, oh, I forgot about Scandal. I didn't forget about Scandal. I still watch Scandal. I'm just going to be that person. And How to Get Away with Murder, the first two episodes, I liked. Third episode, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I didn't like it. It, it wasn't enough drama for me. I'm, like, really big into dramas and mysteries. and I feel like I wasn't really doing anything as of right now. But, you know, some shows have those parts in the show where you just just don't want to watch it anymore so, my favorite thanksgiving food my favorite thanksgiving food would have to be my grandmother's mac and cheese my aunt's potato salad my boyfriend's grandmother's potato salad and yeah that's it my grandma's macaroni and cheese is like life like I'm like, where's the mac and cheese? Like, I don't want anything else. Like, I just want a big bowl of macaroni and cheese. And I'm diabetic, so I can't really eat as much as I want to. But I'm just going to take these pills, take this insulin, and I'm going in for the mac and cheese and the potato salad. Um, his grandmother makes potato salad. And right when she's done, I'm like standing right beside her with the bowl. Because I'm going to give me some before anybody else. And then I'm going to She loves me more. <laughs> um and my aunt's potato salad was the first potato salad I've ever tasted because I didn't like potato salad at first wasn't a big fan of it um I recently just got into it a couple of years ago and I fell in love with it and that's when I started experimenting on other people's potato salad other potato salad don't think it's great with my aunt's there's some good ones and then there's some bad ones but my aunt's potato salad and his grandmother's potato salad is amazing it's amazing but I'll have to choose mac and cheese over the potato salad. Um, and last but not least, my favorite Halloween costume. Um, I'm not really big into Halloween. I never really did the whole costume thing. I think when I was like 18, I think I wore this exact sweater. A beater, black beater underneath. And I had long braids in my hair and I was the royal fashion statement to the royal king which is his brother his little brother hi Darren. and um yeah that's the last time i've ever did anything that had to do with a costume and then you really count that as doing a costume just that i wasn't really into halloween when i was little because of my parents and as i got older i just thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.